Hi guys, it's Aoife from Words of Clover and I'm here to do a booktuber recommendations videos which I'm so glad about because these are some of my favourite videos to do. I have five booktubers I want to talk about that I've been really really enjoying their content lately and I'm going to go straight on into it and recommend my first booktuber who is Noria from Noria Reads. Noria is just one of these people who when she has a new video up I get so excited to watch these videos because they're so she puts so much into her videos they are absolutely amazing she does these recommendations videos where it's not just like four or five books she's recommending for particular tropes or particular um, themes like she is recommending like 20 plus books sometimes and I just think that is absolutely amazing that she's able to talk about them so well and put these videos together and it must take so much work and I just absolutely admire her for that. On top of that she is just an absolutely hilarious person. I love watching her as well because she is someone who I just smile along with and laugh along with and she's just someone who like makes my day brighter because I am watching her videos and I love that. Like she also reads a wide variety of things which I also appreciate as someone who also does the same. So she Noria will all, will always talk about different YA books. She also talks about science fiction and fantasy but she also loves to loves a little bit of new adult and more smutty books as well so I kind of feel like there's a little bit there for everyone and somehow subscribe to her already I cannot recommend her enough because she's absolutely brilliant the booktuber I've been loving is Penelope the paperback cat her one is just a wonderful channel name and second of all I have just been loving particularly Penelope's um wrap-ups because she does some really really interesting wrap-ups where instead of just like a normal monthly wrap-up she does book battles every month separates the books that she's reading into different genres and she basically makes them battle against each other for which one she liked best and at the end of the video she kind of has her top book of the month. I subscribed to her for a few months so I don't know if the end of the year she'll have like an overall book battle of the year which would be really really fun to uh, watch if she does do that but I've just been loving watching her content. She also lives in New Zealand so she also sometimes when she does her vlogs and things like that she has some lovely scenery and just really relaxing vlog footage. Petra Yu is another booktuber I've been loving, particularly for her weekly vlogs, which are just so lovely and cosy and relaxing. I just love settling down and watching some of Petra's videos because they are just so gorgeous. Petra, I do believe she is from Finland. So again, I really love seeing different types of scenery um, in her vlogs that, you know, is just a little bit different for me from my own scenery that I see every day. And she also takes um, trips now and again to a little cottage, I think, that belongs to her family. And it's kind of like a little country cottage in Lapland. And that is just so magical, especially if she goes around the time where it's snowing and you have like the snow and the reindeers and it's super Christmassy and you just kind of expect to see Santa somewhere. And it's just so lovely. Um, and I just love seeing those little bits of pieces when she goes to visit um, that cottage and it just looks like the most beautiful gorgeous reading retreat as well. Petra herself it seems just like such a lovely person again she reads a wide variety of genres she reads a lot of literary fiction she reads classics but she also reads some fantasy and YA books as well and I always love kind of just seeing what she thinks about all the different books that she has been reading. I just love spending time with her while I'm watching watching her vlogs. A booktuber who I 100% recommend if you are a big fantasy uh, book lover is Life as Monet. Monet just I've only been subscribed to Monet for a while, but every time I have watched one of her videos, I seem to come out of it um, adding loads more fantasy books to my TBR because she has talked about different fantasy books that I have never heard of, which is actually sometimes hard to do. We not only read a lot anyway, but you watch a lot of other booktubers. It's always something sometimes really exciting to actually find a book that you have never heard of before. And that's happened to me a couple of times with Monet's videos. Finding booktubers as well who just seem to have such similar taste to your own. You know you found like this perfect bookish friend and anytime I know that I will need any like kind of figuring out what I want to read next looking for recommendations I know I could probably go to Monet's video and click on any of them and come out with a really great recommendation that I will probably love and then the last person I want to talk about is Katie at Brightness Katie Reads I've shouted out Katie I think before on my Twitter um, account but I wanted to do it in a video as well because I just think she is just the most wonderful bubbly person again an absolute must subscribe if you are at all interested in sci-fi or fantasy books because this girl reads so many fantasy and sci-fi sci-fi books and does so many amazing videos about them as well. 
I cannot recommend her enough. Not only that is she just always has the most beautiful smile on her face and she just seems like such a bubbly, lovely person. Again, someone I'm watching who I'm always smiling with when I'm watching her videos and I absolutely love that. She's done some really interesting videos um, recently as well, not just like kind of sci-fi and fantasy recommendations videos, but videos like books she would love to see turned into musicals and some of her choices um, in that video were just really interesting and ones I definitely agreed with. But she is just not only just a really great booktuber who reads really amazing books but seems like an absolutely wonderful person as well and I definitely recommend people go and subscribe to her. So those are the five booktubers I am recommending today. If you guys have any booktubers that you've been loving recently I would love to find out more about them. Please leave them linked down below because I love to find more booktubers to watch. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys again next time.